continuous learning and being an avid lifetime, you know, lifelong learner is just huge, especially at this age. Because how many of you have 30 years work experience? 20 years work experience? 10? 5? 3? 1? Okay, so we don't have a lot of experience. But what if I challenge you? I want you to go out there and get 30 years experience in the next year. That doesn't make any sense, does it? So how do we gain experience if we haven't been out? I mean, there's, you can't slap 30 years of experience on me. I'm young. I realize that. I haven't been out as long as some people have. I realize that. So how do I, when I go out and speak to corporate clients, how do I have any credibility when I speak to them? We gain credibility and we gain experience the only way we can, which is learning by the experiences of others. Smart people will learn from their own mistakes. And to prove that, see here. Bear with me here. I want you to answer as loud and as enthusiastically as possible, okay? Okay. <laughs> Is it really that late in the day? I mean, no sleep, okay? Okay. What color is this sheet? White. What do cows drink? Water. Okay. So you guys are telling you learn from your own experiences? You learn from your own mistakes? I still heard one milk, and I don't know who it was. <laughs> but we learn from our own mistakes. But the deal is, is the smartest people learn from the mistakes and the experiences of other people. It shortens that learning curve. Anybody, anybody here have any idea how to make billions of dollars selling golf balls? No one? Golf balls. No? Anybody know what Warren Buffett's first job was? Selling golf balls. Selling golf balls. So how do you take somebody like Warren Buffett at, you know, younger than the age of 10, selling golf balls, and how does he get from there to riding in private jets and making billions of dollars? Do you know? If you read his book, you would. It's one of those things that we can't gain that experience. We can't figure out what that's like unless we, you know, take the initiative to learn from the experiences of other people. That's why we were talking about mentors yesterday. I have a number of different mentors, but I find one that's close to me that can talk about the things that are just immediately around the corner, and I have one that's farther down the line that can show me how to connect A, selling golf balls, to B, making billions. And not necessarily that, but how do you connect A and B? So the only way we can gain experience and gain credibility is to learn from the experience of other people. Does that make sense? Because one of the things, I don't know if you encounter a lot, I do a lot in my per, you know, personal life and professional career, is people discredit what you say because of your age, getting into an industry. Probably the youngest person I speak to on a corporate level is 30 years old. They've been in there much longer than I have. And I stand up in front of that group and they look at me like, why should we listen to you like I talked to you yesterday? Why should we listen to you? And the only way that I have the credibility to stand in front of that group is to do everything I can to learn everything about a given topic or industry or you know, profession or service or whatever it is and gain the experience of other people because I can't do anything about the time thing. I can't. You can't do anything about how old you are? The only thing we have control over, which is what we need to focus on, is how do we gain that experience outside of just what time will do for us. So that's my take on, on the continuous learning, is just taking an opportunity to learn those things because it will eventually add a great deal of value to our credibility. It will help us gain experience that we couldn't otherwise have without decades of experience.